woman in the blue Mitsubishi. He ran over there to, to get back in the car whenever I left Warfields here. This is this is a gang stalker, everybody. Exposing this this bitch is a gang stalker. In the blue Mitsubishi. They're gonna sit there. She like practically ran over to her car. She's in such a huge hurry. Oh, here's another gang stalker, Officer uh, Corrections Officer Link. Stay out of the cameras. This is Corrections Officer Link, aka Gang Stalker. Let's see who else we got. Lots of them, they're everywhere. Let's go find Officer Dillhole. You people were sick. Uh, this guy, oh, there's another gang stalker. Absolutely, look at this brand new, nice, shiny Ford. I don't even know who that guy is. I've lived in Patton my entire life. No idea who that guy is. You can get yourself hit, bitch. How about using the crosswalk? These people are sick. These people have a problem. They need help. They're like sick in the head. Seriously. They need like some kind of uh, ex very, very, very fucking extensive rehabilitation because they're not right in the head. They're sick individuals. Oh look, I bet you ran over to her fucking Mitsubishi and jumped in. She's still sitting there. What do you know? Still sitting there. There's no way she'd be waiting for me to pull out or anything. That that would just be crazy. <laughs> that would that would just be crazy to even think that. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain! Purplicious, 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 gang stalkers be gay faggots, pedophile motherfuckers. It's one more chosen people. It's one more chosen people. It's one more chosen people. You motherfuckers are the ones that have to answer to God after this life. And I'm, I'm, I feel really, really, I, I really feel bad for you. I do not envy you at all. Money is just money. They print more every day. Fucking, if, if, if you're doing these things and you're selling your soul for money, there's no hope for you. How can you expect the world to, to be any kind of better place for your kids or your grandkids to live in when people like you are, are running around trying to control it this way and, and create this, this fucking hell on earth? 
this horrible, disgusting environment. Are you going to be okay with this when your grandchild is a target individual and this is being done to him? Are you going to be okay with that? Is there a certain amount of, what amount of money do you need to receive for that to be okay? For you to be okay with that and sell your soul? Huh? What amount of money do you need to receive for it to be okay? To, to stalk somebody. How much money do you need to receive to be able to justify stalking somebody and harassing them incessantly every day with the sole intent to try to diminish and destroy that individual And for what? So that his his children who don't deserve any any consequences of this end up with a worse situation and end up having to suffer the consequences. All I can say is you're sick. You fucking people are sick. Sick in the head. This guy fucking taking pictures here. Taking pictures of the sidewalk. Here, let's take a picture of you. Gang stalker, y'all. Cheese! Say cheese! Fucking gang stalking perp motherfuckers. I mean, look. What the hell is he taking a picture of? This is what? This is a real good view, huh? Yeah, I keep turning around trying to get a picture of me. And you, how many pictures are you gonna walk up and down the fucking Main Street taking stupid pictures of nothing? This is what they do. Sick, sick people, man. Can't wait to post this one to YouTube. I don't know who that guy is either, by the way. Lived in Patton my whole life. Yeah, you got, you got weird, strange individuals walking up Main Street taking pictures of what? Of nothing. Some fucking candy canes? <laughs> fucking sick, sick individuals. Weirdos, man. I, I hope... All I can do is pray for them. I pray that God, God will fucking forgive them <laughs> for their total lack of fucking compassion and remorse, for their total disregard of accountability and responsibility for the consequences of their actions. And I guarantee you, they have some some witty justification excuse on what they're doing to make themselves feel better. At night. There he is again taking pictures of murder. Yeah. Go ahead, you try to get one of me, buddy. See what happens. Take a picture of me and see what happens. What are you taking pictures for? The water company's gonna be tearing the road up there. What? Well, okay. So what the hell? <laughs> Why do they need a bunch of pictures of Christmas decorations? So the water company is going to be tearing the road up. It's common practice for some weirdo to walk around taking pictures of everything first. And let me tell you, man, what the heck is this world coming to? It's fucking weirdo. Okay, the water company is going to be tearing the road up, so. What the fuck does that have anything to do with him walking around, circling my vehicle, taking pictures? I mean, I know, I know what he's doing. I'm not an idiot, you know? I'm just asking the questions that, that will uh, spark the curiosity in the, uh, the, the average, oh, look, there goes fucking McCombie. Sincerity. 
Sorry, Miss Sinceri. Gang stalking bitch. Uh, but anyway, I just I'm just asking the questions that to spark to spark the intuition and the curiosity of the average um, common person that, that that is unaware that this shit goes on, you know. You know that way to help them along if they don't they don't know the right questions to ask. Kind of giving them the suggestions to ask the questions that will that will enlighten and expand their awareness, so that they reach reach the enlightened point um, of of uh, awakening, so that they so that they can see the truth. And they can see what these sick, sick people uh, are doing all around us. We have to, we have to, we have to spread awareness. Have to. There's another gang stalker, Dave Koontz. Right there, Dave Koontz, gang stalker. But yeah, we have to spread awareness. Protect each other. I mean, there's no way I can stand by and let let all these innocent people that have no idea what's going on just get fucking blindsided one day when they come for them because they have no idea that this even goes on. telling you when they're done with uh, with the uh, with us with the people that they're targeting now who do you think they're gonna come after so just just some food for thought everybody something to think about you gotta you gotta wake up gotta wake up and you gotta just pay attention to, to what's going on around you yeah we've been asleep and haven't been haven't been doing our due diligence as responsible citizens of, of earth to, to pay attention and and make sure that uh, that our planet doesn't get uh, stolen out from under us because we were too busy playing playing fucking candy crush or fucking looking at Facebook or too busy worrying about the election and <laughs> it's all a distraction everybody don't get caught up in your distractions pay attention to what's important in your family uh, protection of of your personal property and your family and your friends and spread awareness that this is going on and you tell everybody you know because this absolutely is true and is going on uh, right now they're able to um, flood flood the the um, the information circuit with disinformation um, in order to discredit the, the uh, whistleblowers and discredit the idea that this goes on. So whenever, whenever, um, whenever you hear somebody exposing this shit, pay close attention to who puts them down. Pay close attention to who attacks them and says they're crazy, right? That's the ones you need to worry about. The ones that are attacking people saying, oh, they're crazy, they're they're all cracked out on math, or they're, or they're, they're whacked out. <laughs> you know, conspiracy theories, okay? If, if people are going out of their way to say that, why? Why not 
be open-minded and and just accept the possibility that this is true, that this is going on. Well, what what would it hurt to just entertain the fact that maybe this is really going on? Maybe all these cracked out, uh, crazy fucking meth head, fucking whack job conspiracy theorists are onto something. Just maybe, just entertain it for for just a just little bit and then get a little further and just just look into it a little bit and when you start to see all these very very highly credible people and even insiders that are speaking out about this and, and you start to see the more you see the more you start to realize this is absolutely 100% true going on uh, crimes against humanity human rights violations that are taking place right in our fucking backyards right in front of us it, even getting even getting the, the the everyday person to participate without them even realizing what they're participating in it's not hard for them to, to paint the narrative and get get regular people to join in on Facebook and attack you know attack the uh, the truth sayers, the whistleblowers, there's a gang stalker right there. You should have seen the smirk when he drove by me. Anymore? Uh, this one won't look at me, I guarantee it. Most of them that, that I notice, oh, there's Lenny, gang stalker Lenny. Most of them I notice, um, if they're smart, they won't look at me. And they're all driving brand new fucking vehicles. Brand new vehicles. And, and this was all kicked up a notch in 2019, right before COVID was, was kicked off, the fake fucking uh, pandemic. Um, all of a sudden, all of these new cars got bought up everywhere. You can't fucking find it. There's no new cars on any of the lots. So who the fuck bought them all? Okay, and then, and then when you see all the people that are, that are driving them, it's just... Uh, Maybe it's crazy to think that all these people bought brand new vehicles at the same time as a coincidence. Maybe that's, call me crazy, you know, to think that there's, that there's a pattern there. Maybe, you know, yeah, sure. It must all be a coincidence that in 2020, all of these people <laughs> that are perpetrators that are going around, um, committing crimes against humanity is stalking them and doing the gang stalking the harassment the smear campaigns the defamation of character it's just, it's just a coincidence that, that those are the people that all are driving these brand new 2020 vehicles I mean yeah. <laughs> I, I'll show you right now okay uh, I'm gonna drive down all my life in this little town of Patton, Pennsylvania, when you drove past the Q's Chevrolet, the dealership in town, okay, it was always full. His lot was full. And the cars were parked perpendicular to Route 36, which is what I'm on now. I just turned on to Route 36, okay? We're heading down the road here. Hughes Chevrolet is right up here on your left. And look and see. Okay, for the last year, okay, this is what his lot looks like. Okay, and he's still in business. This is what his his car car lot looks like. I think I can count the cars on on my two hands that he's selling there. That used to be cars parked perpendicular to the road fucking as close as you can get them the whole way around there all the time for 37 years my entire life until last year well 2020 uh 2019 2020 whatever then all of a sudden all the cars just disappeared and, and they don't have you can't get a fucking new car to save your life oh who where's where, where's all this uh money coming from to buy all these new cars well, according to me, in my observations, what I see is all of the gang stalkers have new 2020 vehicles. Every one of them that drive around these 2020 vehicles. So, um, I don't know. Call me crazy. Maybe it's a coincidence. <laughs> but, uh, 
I, I like to do pattern recognition when, when it smells like a duck, it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, looks like a duck, even has a fucking name tag that says, hi, my name is Duck. It's probably a fucking duck. Sorry. You're not going to tell me otherwise. That's a nice fucking uh, hidden little fucking gem down there. Posted. Nobody's going to try to come on your fucking junkyard property. you got to keep it posted. I haven't driven down this alley. I live right around the corner. I haven't driven down this alley in a long time. But since I'm on the subject, I was curious because um, all the people around me, like, like, pretty much this whole block is firemen and perpetrators. This whole block are people that fucking gang stalk me on a, a regular basis very, very thoroughly. Okay. Now, uh, there's a nice new one right there. But, uh, oh yeah, look. Just happened to be getting out of the vehicle. What do you know? That's a coincidence, though, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a coincidence, yeah. I'm just crazy. I'm looking in your rear mirror at him. Okay, you gotta pull your, yep, oh, pull your phone out, buddy. Go ahead and pull your phone out. Yep, there he is, taking a picture of me. You want me to smile for you? I'll smile for you if you want. As soon as I confronted him, he fucking turned around and tucked tail. These people are cowards. They're sick in the head and they're fucking cowards. And it needs to end. This is this is it. It's over. It's done. These people are sick. Well, comment, like, or subscribe. Tell me what you think. Okay? I got plenty where this came from. I've just hit a point where I've had enough. And I'm not... I refuse to just fucking ignore it anymore. I'm going to actively, actively expose these motherfuckers and make sure their life is, make sure they have to work really hard for the fucking taxpayer dollars that they're getting. So, anyway, like, subscribe, and uh, comment, get a hold of me. I don't really do much with my YouTube channel, but I'm curious to, to, to read the conversation after this. So, thanks. This is John Hofer. And I will talk to you, catch you on the other side. Peace.